Hello. Today, I would like to talk to you about Azure Application Insights, a service offering as part of the Azure ecosystem. We all want to make sure our web apps are reliable, fast, and we want to make sure that they meet our customers' requirements. Especially if you're running a modern web service today, you need to know it's running well. You need to know it's running all the time. Azure Application Insights helps us track and improve the availability of our app, the performance of our app, and ensures that we have a successful application. Today, I would like to introduce you to Azure Application Insights and explain to you how, how it works and walk you through some of the demo scenarios that will help you have a better application. So my name is Ravi Yadav and I am a uh, a technical solutions architect. I work within the Azure environment with uh, primarily focusing on the Azure infrastructure as a service and platform as a service and the recovery services uh, services within Azure. I also have came from a system center and Hyper-V background. And if you ever need to contact me, my email and contact information is below. So building a successful application is tough. Why? Because we have fierce competition, constant evolution, and continuous delivery. And with that, with cloud and mobile apps, it takes no time uh, with app stores. It takes no time to enter the market, and the cost has reduced dramatically. Business models keep getting copied, and it's very easy to duplicate and replicate an app that's similar or a service that's similar to yours. And it's difficult to stay unique and keep yourself differentiated. Technology is constantly changing. And with that, our customers' needs are changing. We need to be on top of technology and the technical requirements. And sometimes being the application developer and the cloud custodian or the architect, we need to stay on top of these changes. Uh, technology uh, advances as they change, we need to evolve with our application as well to be successful. And with rapid continuous um, delivery cycles, Updates and bug fixes are being pushed out every day, every week. And as a result, the more often these um, changes are being pushed, we sometimes may sacrifice the quality of our application. So given all this, achieving success draw, requires data-driven uh, decision-making. And to be successful, we don't just need data, but we need the right data. We need the, the right data about our customers, about the end users, about our application and the websites and all the aspects of our application. So having all this information will be key to making a proper decision, an informed decision, and making sure we have a successful application. So with the modern application lifecycle, uh, which we're all familiar with, uh, let's take a little deeper look into this. So with this model, we have some challengers, challenges and uh, blockers. And with that, typically the people uh, that do the planning are typically not exposed to the right data. Um, they make decisions that are not with all the data um, and usually prioritize their decisions um, on, not on the correct data. And developers usually don't have visibility to what's happening in the production environment. Uh, typically, that lack of uh, collaboration between developers and operations. Um, operations will have a different set of tools and processes. Uh, which will differentiate from developers. And this leads to a lack of collaboration between the two teams. And customers almost always are usually aware of our uh, issues in the, uh, with their, our application. Uh, so usually customers will be aware of the issues before dev teams or operation teams. So we don't sometimes have enough time to decide whether um, the issue may require a hotfix or if it can wait till the next version release. Now, once you do have the right information and the right data, you can then resolve issues in the fastest way possible with the least amount of downtime. So App Insights, in a nutshell, is a service that will help us solve these problems throughout the application management lifecycle. So what is Application Insights? Well, Application Insights is an intelligent application uh, performance monitoring service that allows us to monitor our application in real time. App Insights provides us an end-to-end -end visibility for our apps, providing fast, easy, and non-intrusive uh, analytic tools to interactively diagnose problems and answer challenging questions about our apps, um, about its performance, about its usage. Leveraging telemetry, App Insights will automatically and continuously monitor application, probing for issues and anomalies that may have occurred 
or may not have occurred yet. And having these powerful analytic tools, App Insights can help us diagnose issues, triage these issues before our users are aware. So App Insights is designed to help continuously improve the performance and the usability of our application. So App Insights will work with any application on a variety of platforms, including .NET and Java-based applications or uh, mobile applications. And regardless of where the application may be hosted, if it's hosted uh, either in the cloud or in a hybrid or on-premise. So with that said, there are three major points um, how data is collected. One, telemetry is collected um, at the back end of servers at each tier, so at the back end of servers at database uh, level, at the middleware, the end user, all the way down to what browser the user is using. Uh, using uh, Azure Machine Learning, we're able to perform deep diagnostics on the application and using big data to run complex queries and deep queries. And finally, with all this data being collected, it's uh, aggregated and displayed within the Azure portal. So Application Insights, what does it monitor? So since App Insights is always collecting uh, a lot of data, it's, it's good to know what KPIs and, um, we can use to make these proper decisions. So for instance, user and session counts, being able to monitor um, where our users are coming from and being able to track them based on uh, geolocations. Um, what browser are they using? Are they using Firefox? Are they using Chrome, um, Internet Explorer? Uh, what kind of version of Windows are they using? Are they using Windows? Are they using Linux? And if they're using Windows, is it Windows 10? Um, are they coming from a mobile environment? Are they using Android or iOS? And we can also generate page views and the load performance uh, reported by the uh, user's browser. Also, when they are accessing the application, can we, we can also find out which page they're hitting the most, uh, which page seems to be the most popular, and is it popular at a certain time of the day? Is it least popular in certain times of the day? And a specific page that is busy at a certain time, we can ask, at the same time, we can ask, are they experiencing issues during these busy times, and are they getting a specific failed response? Is it uh, dependent related? Is it the application, or is it one of its dependencies? Um, so with that, are the users getting failures when traffic spikes? Um, again, being able to track these users uh, geographically and pinpoint exactly which browser and which platform um, the users experience their issues. So this would be the response and uh, rate and failure times. And with dependency rates and response times and failure rates, we can now see if it's an external service or application that's slowing down the uh, performance. Is it uh, the database? Is it a, a web call? Is it the operating system? Is it the Azure blog storage? And so on. Also, another key uh, KPI um, is the profiler, which allows us to automatically collect and view code uh, level traces at the, um, the slowness of a request. So for a production app, um, profiler will collect the median, the fastest and the slowest response times of each web request made by the user. And it will also allow us to collect the um, the hot code path that takes the longest time to handle a specific uh, web request. And with performance counters and diagnostic trace logs, um, we can now collect the information of our infrastructure, seeing if it's uh, a Windows or Linux server, if there's a memory um, memory or CPU slowness, um, a network outage, uh, we can actually kind of remove um, the reliance on operations and we can now monitor our own infrastructure. So sources of telemetry, um, in, in this model, there are five ways application uh, insights collects its telemetry. So number one being the outside in, we're actually able to ping from 16 uh, Azure resources throughout the world to see um, to measure a synthetic transaction to see how our application is uh, from this different parts of the world. And with user behavior, um, we can actually now see our users experiencing issues on uh, what platform is it, if it's, an in, if it's a mobile device or a desktop, um, what OS or um, what version of mobile they're using. So we can now fine tune based on the user behavior. And with the application behavior, by um, injecting App Insights, we can now capture uh, all the logs and data analytics. And with developer tracers, traces and events, now we can set specific events or we can send all events and log and data to uh, App Insights. And lastly, uh, infrastructure performance, now we can measure 
uh, our infrastructure and not have to rely on our operations to provide that information. So um, for example, if we now can see that our CPU is always running hot, we can now take this data and validate this uh, quantifier or our request to operations for more CPU because we can show them that, hey, it's been running hot continuously and we have this data to prove it. So telemetry, um, there's many ways we can understand our application now and App Insights provides a handful of telemetry tools. Um, so here's some of the ones I just want to mention. Um, so the application map being probably the most particular, uh, most popular, in, in my opinion, the most popular and uh, similar to service map, um, as we've seen in the System Center Operations Manager and uh, OMS. Application map visually maps our application and all of its dependencies and components. So now we can see if a component is in a warning uh, state or if uh, there's an issue with one of the dependencies, we can identify it now and make that uh, adjustment. Uh, smart detection, again, leveraging Azure's machine learning, um, smart detection will automatically um, alert us if based on um, pa patterns our application has developed. So using machine learning, it will learn and understand our application patterns and then trigger an alert uh, if something's outside of that pattern. Um, the usage analysis will analyze uh, users' retention and um, again, track to see if users are coming back um, if they're coming back, are they going to a specific page every time? And how is their experience? Um, how is the response time every time they go to that page? Again, doing with all, all done with machine learning and pattern detection. Um, also, live stream metrics, so near real time uh, performance indicator that builds and watches to ensure the application is working exactly as we expected. And of course, with the dashboards, we can now actually extend all of this uh, to uh, things such as like Power BI or Log Analytics. Uh, OMS, we can take these telemetry tools and visualize our data and build it in a clean and simple view. So with the, these three pillars, the easy, powerful, and comprehensive, it's very easy to get set up and I'll quickly show that soon. To get set up with Azure Application Insights, it's exceptionally powerful. We can collect so much information from our application and uh, see how our users are um, ex experiencing our application. And with all that, giving the 360 degree view, we're able to see everything from our infrastructure to the application, to our users and experience. We're now able to collect all this information and visualize this um, with and putting into dashboards. So how it works, um, in short, once we have application insights um, enabled in our application and with the Visual Studio, uh, for my example, uh, App Insights will install a module, um, a small um, instrument package within our application. And then Application Insights uh, resources created within the Azure portal. And the instrumentation uh, monitors our application and sends telemetry and data to the Azure portal. So not only can we probe and query the web service, but now we can probe any background components, for example, that you can probe the JavaScript that runs in the background of web, page, web pages. Uh, for example, if uh, you are trying to determine where users are clicking on a web page. And lastly, we can pull all this telemetry from the host environment and get performance counters, uh, Azure Diagnostics, or even um, Docker logs. We can set up availability tests that periodically sends uh, synthetic transactions to our web service. So all these telemetry tools are integrated within the Azure portal and we can apply analytics and uh, use search tools to query against the raw data. So as I mentioned, it doesn't matter where our application is hosted, if it's hosted um, in Azure or in different cloud service, um, if it's hosted on-premise or, um, in, or in a hybrid scenario. And regardless of which language we're working with, uh, C-sharp or Java, .NET, uh, Python, it doesn't matter. Um, and lastly, it doesn't even matter which ecosystem it's in, if it's a Windows environment or a Linux environment. Um, it's not limited just to web apps. You can even collect, uh, connect to Visual Studio Center for mobile apps with uh, Android and iOS and so on. So getting started, um, three real simple steps. You need an application, you need Azure uh, subscription and Ideally, Visual Studio, but there are uh, workarounds by not having Visual Studio. Um, in this demo scenario, I have Visual Studio set up, so we'll go through that. So in my solution here, we simply right-click on the application and click Add and go to Application Insights Telemetry. Um, we literally 
sign into our app of Azure um, portal through this module here, and it registers and configures and builds everything within the Azure portal. So it's very quick and very uh, seamless. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna do a few demos here. So now I'd like to show some demos uh, within uh, Azure Application Insights. So if we click on our, uh, within the Azure App Insights and go into the blade here, first thing I would like to show is how we can set up availability testing, um, something simple, just to see if our application is performing well uh, throughout the world. So in this quick little scenario, uh, I'm gonna create a simple test. Let's call this uh, test avail. Uh, we're gonna do a simple URL ping test um, and this is the URL of our application. Uh, we're gonna test every, let's go every 15 minutes. Um, and as of today, there are 16 uh, resources we can actually test with um, within Azure resources. So we can go from everything or maybe let's just keep it simple. Uh, we'll test only within the Americas. So US, North, Central, South, Central, and East. So we'll keep it here. Uh, we'll do our testing within uh, the US. And we are literally checking for a HTTP response of 200. If we see 200, then we know everything is good. Um, keep it at that. We can also change this uh, alert failure after five minutes. Um, and if we want to send an email, if something failed, then we can generate that. At the same time, uh, trigger a web hook if, if that's the case. So for this purpose, let's keep this simple. Um, and that's that. And as you see, that testing is already up. Oh, and we already have tests going on. And you can see the response time between each. Um, so here I have another one where I've created for all 16 uh, data centers, Azure resources. And we can see, for instance, in this one here, about 6 a.m. this morning, uh, response time was not that great between a uh, West Europe. So we can now to we can now correlate if a, a user in Europe, let's say for instance, was having issues. We can see based on availability testing that um, it's very true that that was uh, an issue. Next, I'd like to show the application map. So an application map, as mentioned, uh, we can now see all the dependencies of an application, everything from uh, the database to the front end, um, in this situation, the Azure blog storage. And we can see in this scenario that uh, our Azure blog storage actually has a little uh, exclamation mark. So if we actually click on this exclamation mark, we can see that there were uh, five failed tests, uh, five failed calls um, in the last, uh, in our time range, in the last 30 days. So if we click on false, we can actually trigger down to see what the issue was and when these issues happened and what the response times were. So this allows us to make a, a proper decision and maybe fix our Azure blog storage if that was the case. Um, and as we can see, the details of that alert. Another key uh, KPI I want to mention is the performance. So now we can see our users experience on pages that are loading um, either slow or quick, uh, which pages are actually having some issues. Uh, so we can see all the performance on our uh, application. Another one is, is the servers here. Now we can actually see uh, what the load on our server is, if there's actually um, CPU spikes happening, um, if there's a slow response time for our web page. And we can now see this in real time. And again, take this information back to operations and request uh, additional resources, if that's the case. Um, so this is a very useful as well. And lastly, I want to go through users. So here we can see uh, how many users are currently active on our uh, application. So if we click on this one here, uh, we can see two users at uh, 3 p.m. today. If we click on more insights, we can see that the users are coming in from Canada and America. We can see for the most part, they're using Windows 10 and they're using a combination of Chrome and Firefox and Internet Explorer. We actually see this user here, um, with the most events, 19,000 events, that this user has been coming to our website since April 4th uh, using Chrome, a Windows 10 device, and from Toronto, Canada. So this is all very useful information to see if users are coming back, um, and if they are coming back, where are they going to, which pages. A great way to stay informed and uh, on learning our user retention segmentation. 
So that concludes the demo uh, portion of this uh, presentation. So to summarize, Azure App Application Insights um, get started by monitoring your application by simply installing the App Insights. Um, start small with something simple as availability test and create simple and informative dashboards. Uh, detect and diagnose your applications by seeing how many users are being affected and if there's a problem. Um, if the problem was something with the database or network, we can see that with application map right away. And third, build, measure, and learn. Um, all this information you get can make your application better. So be proactive and not reactive and know the issues uh, before end users know them and make your application success by having data-driven decisions. Understand your application and its performance and the KPIs that make your application successful. And again, you can extend this into Power BI and OMS. And lastly, Security. Similar to NSGs, actually Microsoft uh, recently made uh, ASGs, application security groups, um, public. So now you can use ASGs to configure network security as an extension to the app's uh, structure by arbitrarily grouping VMs and defining policies based on those groups. So the platform is able to handle a, a complex, um, is able to handle com complexity of an explicit IP address and multiple rule sets. So take a look into that, uh, some pretty neat stuff, especially if you're looking to improve your application uh, with security. So that brings my time to an end. Um, again, my name is Ravi Yadav, and if you want to reach out to me, my information is below, and it's been a pleasure. Thank you.